seen lots of questions on YouTube about the mathematics required to get your airframe or power plant licensed through the FAA. Either one of those is going to require the uh, general section. You have to take the general and either the power plant or airframe license tests and you can get both of them. You only have to take the general test once. So to answer the question about what mathematics you need to know, I've pulled up the practical test standards manual. That's the FAA manual number is 8081-26A. You can Google that for more information. But that actually gives the reference as to what the examiner can examine you over uh, during the practical test. In section H under mathematics, you'll see up here at the top that the reference material that they can use is FAA handbook 8083-30. That's the general um, general handbook for the FAA. Gives us the objective is to determine that the applicant, one, exhibits knowledge in as a minimum two of the following elements. And that's this A through H section. This is going to be your verbal uh, knowledge test. And so he can ask you, at a minimum, two of the following elements. If you pass those two elements um, with flying colors, typically you're not going to get asked more questions, but they always have that option. So this includes area and volume of geometric shapes, definitions and descriptions of geometrical terms, uh, that's your pi, your radius, diameter, hypotenuse, all of those things. Ratio problems and uh, where and how they can be used in relation to aircraft maintenance. Proportion problems, again, where and how you can use them in aircraft maintenance. Percentage problems, algebraic operations, and then conditions or areas where metric conversion may be necessary. Again, that's just the knowledge portion of it. In this practical test standards booklet, there's always a knowledge portion and a skill portion. So if we jump down here to section two, it says demonstrate, demonstrate skill to perform as a minimum one of the following elements. And then we have this section. There's a little bit on the next page that I'll uh, show you that in a section as well. So determine the square root. Locate instructions for determining square root. Locate formulas to determine area and or volume. Compute the volume of a cylinder. Compute the area of a wing. If we jump down to the next page, we see that we can uh, calculate the volume of a baggage compartment. Convert fractional numbers to decimal equivalents. Compare two numerical values using ratios. Compute compression ratio. Add, subtract, multiply, and or divide positive and negative numbers. Compute the least common denominator of two or more fractions, or compute the torque value change when using a torque wrench with an extension. You'll see in there it gives different levels um, for the different different uh, difficulty levels of the math that you're doing. But regardless of the level, you're only required to show as a minimum one of the following elements. So what typically happens in your practical examination is you'll get a problem that involves several properties. So you might get, um, say, the examiner will give you a weight and balance problem. And that will cover several different areas of your exam. It might cover the weight and balance portion. It might cover the mathematics portion. Um, so you're not going to have to do that much actual math during your practical exam. Uh, most of what that's going to cover is going to be included in a different uh, a different process that you're being tested on, whether it be the, the weight and balance that I spoke about, or the perhaps you'll do uh, a sheet metal project and calculate a bend radius or something of that nature. But overall, the math requirements are not particularly stringent. Of course, this doesn't cover what's required for the actual written test. But that's really easy, and basically you're just going to memorize numbers on that because the questions are all given. So just 
work through your multiple choice question book and it's going to cover the same information as what this practical test is it's just you get a multiple choice answer for it so that's not particularly hard if you enjoyed this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel or hit the like button and check out some of my other videos on aircraft maintenance and uh, the education required to get a certificate that's all for today thanks for watching the abc's of amt